Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 64 of my Ultimate Guide to Logic Pro. So, we're almost done with the MIDI portion of the Ultimate Guide, and then we're going to move on to audio and audio recording and audio editing techniques. But I do have a few more MIDI related topics left before we finish up. In this video, I want to show you how to use the time handles, which give you some additional flexibility in editing the timing and duration of your MIDI notes in the Piano Roll Editor. This is one of those tools that a lot of people don't really know about and can be really helpful if you're trying to play around with the timing of just a specific selection of notes, as opposed to playing with the timing of entire MIDI regions in the tracks area or having to use the transform window. If you wanna follow along with the tutorial, I've made this demo project available as a free download in the video description below. But before I get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. Are you looking for a better way to collaborate on your music projects? Look no further than Boombox.io. Boombox's audio file commenting and collaboration tools allow musicians, musical artists, bands, and music producers to easily share files and provide time-stamped production notes and feedback. Upload single tracks, multi-tracks, or stems, invite collaborators to your project, and draw up contracts with their splits feature. Say goodbye to endless email chains and say hello to seamless collaboration with Boombox.io. Sign up for a free account today and you'll get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so first let me demonstrate the basic functionality of the time handles, and then I'll show you some practical examples in this project. To turn on the time handles, you're gonna go up to functions in the piano roll editor, and you can toggle this on or off here. You can also use the shortcut control T. Now you wanna use the time handles with the pointer tool because the pointer tool is what you use to make a selection. So if I turn off the time handles and make a selection, it just selects the notes. However, if I press control T and drag over a selection, You'll see it makes a selection and also keeps this big blue square box around the selection. There's a left and right time handle for the selection, and you can use the time handle to time compress or time stretch the MIDI data, and you can do this from either side of the selection. You can also hover over the left or right side to trim the length of the time handle selection as well and then you can go back in and you can make additional edits. So that's the basic functionality. You can time stretch or compress a selection of notes in the piano roll editor without having to do this one by one. So the great thing about this is if I just want to make a time selection here, and I just want to affect these notes without affecting everything else, I can totally do that. Now, right now I have my grid snap turned off and all of the adjustments I'm making are not snapping to the grid. Another great thing about the time handles is that they actually will snap to whatever grid division you have selected. So for example, if I turn on grid snap and I switch this over to bar and I make a selection like this, you'll see that the in point and out point of the time handles snap to the bars on the grid. So for example, if I wanted to take this four bar selection and shrink it down to a two bar selection, I could very easily do that without having to mess with the MIDI region up in the tracks area, or vice versa, I could make a selection and I could stretch this out to four bars. You can also snap this to other divisions of the grid. So maybe I'll put this on division and now this will snap to my 16th note divisions on the grid. Now, if I make a selection with the time handles, you'll see that the time handles snap to the 16th notes on the grid. And one other thing you can do is if you hold shift and click on notes while the selection is made, you can omit certain notes from the time handle selection. So let's say I just wanted to shorten these chords here. I could totally do that. Although we're gonna get some overlapping notes. It's not exactly a, a practical example there, but you can omit certain notes from the selection if you like. So let me show you a more practical example. So let's go into this bass region here, and let's say that I want to shorten some of these notes. I want them to just play faster. So what I can do is I can make a selection here, and again, the time handles are going to snap to the grid. I can shorten those notes. I can do the same thing over here. Let's shorten those up. 
And then I'll do the same thing over here and shorten these up. Now, if I want to quickly toggle back to the regular pointer tool, I can just press Control T. And if I want to maybe copy these over and duplicate them, I can just hold Option and do so. Or for example, in my beat here, maybe I want to take this hi-hat pattern and I want to essentially make it double time while leaving the kick and snare alone. So again, I'll just hit Control T to toggle the time handles, drag over just those hi-hats, and probably what I need to do here is set this to a bar snap. And let's just make sure that the time handles are snapping to the bar lines. Then I can shorten that, turn off the time handles, drag over these, hit Command R to repeat, and there we go. Or maybe I want to take a certain part of a synth melody like this and I want to make it faster. For example, I've got this run of eighth notes coming up here to the note C here and here. So once again, I'll turn on the time handles by pressing Control T. I'll use Division Snap. I'll select only the range that I want to affect. And instead of dragging right to left, I'm going to drag left to right this time. And I'll do the same thing over here and I'll just shorten up the selection. Okay, so those are the time handles in Logic Pro, a pretty simple MIDI editing tool, but a pretty useful one if you're trying to time stretch or time compress MIDI notes within a selection rather than having to apply it to the entire region. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.